So not too long ago, I bought this clay here, and I have a couple of ideas in mind of what I want to do with it, but the first thing I'm going to try and make with it, because I'm still new to using the clay and everything, it's going to be a clay face figure, and I want to try and get them in the same scale as the Batman stuff here, and make them look kind of like the Arkham series, but also could fit in with comic book look as well. So, I'm gonna make a main base out of tin foil, and then do a thin layer of clay around that. And I'm gonna show you my process of how I do everything. And this is my first time kind of going at it, so I hope it turns out well. One thing I really wanted to do for this figure was be able to make him interchangeable hands. And I don't really know how I was going to go about it. And something I kind of just thought of is I might actually try and I'll cut this part off here and try and work that into the into the mold and then whatever like if i want a ball like a huge like ball with spikes on it i would make that and i can make an imprint of this and so on the clay i believe this one is about to bake so after i bake it i'm gonna hot glue or crazy glue this cap into where the indent was and I'm gonna do the same thing for the arm for Clayface and I'll just make it make the skull go like hide this part and oh, so hopefully I can just turn the interchangeable hands on so hopefully that works that'd be pretty cool if it be able to just use a water bottle but we'll see how that goes and like I said the main base is gonna be tin foil and I'm gonna make the sculpt first but still trying to figure out how to get articulation in it I'm probably gonna use these and it's it's gonna be a pretty difficult process because the clay I'm using is an oven baked clay. So, tin foil, it's able to go into the oven and the clay is able to go in the oven. But everything else isn't. So, I have to plan out everything beforehand. And once the clay is done, everything, I put it all together. So, I I want to try and at least get some articulation in. I don't know how I'm really going to go about it yet, but maybe, I, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm really not sure about that yet. So I'm going to have to figure that out first before I can start making everything. This is what I got so far about how I want to kind of put everything together. So, the, I, I, want, I want it to have knee joints, but that's kind of the hardest part so far. So when I, when I think, when I make the thigh, I might wrap some tin foil around this here. I wrap some tin foil around it and glue it onto the other tin foil. Alright, no, I don't think I can do that. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do the knee joints. If it doesn't have arm joints, that's fine. Because I'm gonna sculpt it the way that his arm is bent, but still is straight. So just a slight bend. I don't know, this could definitely 
going to be a harder one to do. But I think I might just start the top half for now. And figure that part out later.
So here's where I'm at. I got just, I haven't added all the spikes on this yet, but this is a bad bunch of spikes on this. It's gonna be like that mace hand. This is gonna be another axe hand. And these are gonna be the arms. I'm not gonna add articulation in the arms, and I don't know if I'm gonna add them in the legs, like a knee and elbow bend, but I will be able to at least try and get them to move. And there's the other arm there as well. So now I'm gonna coat uh, this half with clay and the other half as well. And then I'm probably gonna let the clay harden first and then I'm probably gonna put everything together and then glue both halves together. So I'm gonna try and sculpt them so it's one fluid sculpt, but then kind of like a build a figure. I like just putting the two pieces together, and then I need to work on the legs and then the head as well after. But yeah, here's where I'm at, and I'm kind of liking how it's turned out so far.
Okay, so here is how everything is looking at the moment. I finished both the legs here, and they have an opening so I can add this part here. back and then the front chest and then like a six pack and then his back the Arkham City esque looking head classic head here comically and like finished accessories and I think I'm just gonna throw them in the oven now so I can see what it looks like and I can always make other interchangeable parts somewhere in the near future so I'm gonna go throw it in the oven excuse me <laughs> excuse me I'm gonna go throw it in the oven and we can see how it looks we eating good tonight boys how he's looking at the moment and I stopped because I ran out of glue sticks so I went and bought some and being the absolute genius that I am I bought the wrong size glue sticks so now I have a hundred glue sticks for a glue gun that I do not own so that's pretty cool. I did buy these though, just cause I think it's kind of cool that they just glow in the dark. So I'll probably just be using these for the time being. And so at least there's that. But yeah, that's that's that's, that's sick. So, I went to move his arm, and the stick that was in there, it just... And when I went to turn it, it twisted the stick, and it snapped, because I think what happened was... I was putting hot glue to fill in some of the gaps, and some of the hot glue got stuck to how I was moving it. this part here helps like that it I think it glued onto this one so it got stuck so when I tried to move it it wasn't moving and I snapped off the arm so now I'm just gonna try and replicate it it might be kind of difficult to do God, it sucks. I got it all fixed up here. And I'll let you see what's going on in there. 
I glued ends at the end of like the popsicle sticks or whatever they are. And when you move the arm there, it's stopping it from falling out of the body. So yeah, that's kind of how it works. So here's where he's at. I'm done with all the hot glue, I'm pretty sure. And now all that's left is to just paint them up. So I hope you're enjoying watching so far.
Alright, so I finished painting him up here, and I haven't put him together yet after painting him. So let's just do that right now. <laughs> it's like my own build a figure. I may have, I think this is actually the wrong size, I think it, I think it's like that, I don't recall, I Let's go with the classic head first. <laughs> oh, that is so sick. That looks so cool. I, can, I need to add some paint in the back there. Uh, this part here, I'm gonna put that black so that gap's not gonna be there, but... That's sick, I'm so happy with how this turned out. That is sick! Oh, I love that. Okay, let's try the Arkham City head. Oh, that one's cool too. Oh, that is sick. I love how that looks. <laughs> that is so cool. I like the classic head a bit more though. See, I think that looks freaking cool. I'm so proud of this one. I think this looks sick. Blade looks cool. I like how I did that. Not to float my own boat or anything, but I'm just really proud of this. So I think all I have to do now is. Well, I'm going to, in the future, make a couple more uh, interchangeable heads. I just wanted to start with these two, and I'm probably gonna make some more hands too. Like. Probably just a fist and like an open hand, like a grabbing hand. And I just need to add some touch ups with the paint. And then after that, I'm just gonna clear coat it and then it should be done. And I think I'm actually gonna use this guy in a stop motion. I'm not sure how long it'll be because I don't wanna wreck this figure, but. I really like how he looks and happy with how he turned out so far. And I hope you're enjoying. So here it is all finished up. I put the glossy clay coat on it so it could give it that kind of living clay kind of look to it. And I think it turned out really well. Put the command on there yeah, I'm really happy with how it looks and once I make the other hands for it I'll probably make the stop motion 
for now, this is just how it looks like. And thank you so much for watching my video.